Thank you very much, Madam Chair. And I would like at this time to move uh, the motion for which I gave notice on December 4th that reads as follows, that the committee recognize the longstanding cultural, familial, political, and economic connections between Canada and the people of both the Republic of Ireland and the United Kingdom, the important role played by Canada in negotiating the Good Friday Agreement and in ensuring the commitments laid out in the treaty were implemented, that the decision by the United Kingdom to leave the European Union could affect the Good Friday Agreement and the provisions in it regarding the border between the Republic of Ireland and the United Kingdom, and that the committee calls on the government to ensure that any post-Brexit trade deal between Canada and the United Kingdom be consistent with the principles of the Good Friday Agreement, and that the committee report this motion to the House and pursuant to Standing Order 109, request that the government table a comprehensive response to the report. I'm sure uh, many members of the committee know and, and understand the deep connection between Canada and Ireland and the significance of the, of the Brexit process for, uh, for, for, for the Irish border. Canada, we often hear that the trade has the ability to open borders and to keep borders open. Canada historically uh, played an important role in, in securing peace between the Republic of Ireland and, uh, and the United Kingdom. And, uh, and so I think it's good to re reaffirm our commitment to that uh, now as we, as we uh, conclude a transitional deal and look forward to a successor agreement in the future. Um, so uh, that, and and I just for for the benefit of committee members who may not already know, I understand that the same motion has already passed unanimously at the Foreign Affairs Committee of the House, and I think it'd be nice for the uh, Committee on International Trade to uh, add its voice to that call. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Blakey. Uh, any discussion, M Madam Chair? Just to say that, as my, as uh, Mr. Blakey pointed out, we were very pleased uh, that this motion passed unanimously at the Foreign Affairs Committee last week, and I think you will find that government members uh, will uh, join Mr. Blakey in uh, its support for um, the people of Ireland and to ensure that the trade agreement has, uh, you know no consequence uh, and is entirely consistent with the Good Friday Agreement. And uh, I uh, will end it there. Thank you, Ms. Badania. Any further discussion? Oui, je sais, Mr. Je sais. Mr. Savar Tremblay. Yes. Thank you, Madam Chair. I would just like to mention that I will also approve that motion. However, the committees should not contradict one another. It would probably send a bad signal. And by principle, it's in our interest not to reopen that issue and that agreement so that's why i would support it and by solidarity for all peoples that uh, fight for their independence thank you miss gray thank you madam chair i'll uh, just let the committee know that uh, that the official opposition also supports this motion and uh, we will be voting in favor as well all right Thank you all very much. Not seeing any other discussion. All those in, in favor of Mr. Blakey's motion, please raise your hand. It's unanimous. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you.